Most of the time during the game of Ultimate, you'll be covered by a defender. Cutting is the skill that you use to get away from this defender. Here, the receiver beats the defender by cutting towards the thrower. A cut away from the thrower can also enable the receiver to get clear of the person defending them. If you're unable to get open by simply running in one direction, make a fake to get away from your defender. You can achieve this by either getting your defender off balance and then cutting, or by getting your defender to run in the wrong direction and then cutting. The line drill is a basic cutting and receiving drill to practice all three of the basic offensive skills of throwing, catching, and cutting. Begin with two lines of players about 25 yards apart. The player in one line throws the disc then cuts towards the other line. The players alternate throwing and catching. When you're receiving the disc, don't slow down as you approach the disc. Vary this drill by adding a cut by the receiver to either the forehand or the backhand side. When you're cutting in a game, be aware of a violation called the pick. When an offensive player leads the person defending them into another player, it's called a pick, whether it was done intentionally or not. Contact need not occur for a pick to be called. The blocked player calls pick and play stops. Pick! If the disc was caught by the receiver, the disc goes back to the thrower. If the disc was already thrown and not complete, it results in a turnover. Now that you've learned the fundamentals of offensive play, you're ready to learn a basic offensive set called the stack. The stack is designed to create a space for receivers to cut into. In the stack, Offensive players set up in the middle of the field. Receivers cut out of the stack into the open space on the sides of the stack. If players don't receive the disc, they clear back to the stack fast. As the disc moves down the field, so does the stack. The stack gives structure to the offense. It's an efficient way to move the disc down the field as a team. The stacks used at all levels of the sport. The stack drill helps teams practice the stack and builds on all of the skills that were worked on in the line drill. Practice timing the cuts so that as soon as the receiver catches the disc and looks downfield, the next receiver is ready for the throw. Don't slow down as you approach the disc. Be sure to practice the stack drill on both the backhand and forehand sides. Another variation on the stack drill includes a huck. Work on timing your deep throws and cuts. <laughs> 